All right, guys, so one of you sent me this video that I want to react to slash commentate on uh, because it features the greatest female fighter, uh, Miss Lucia Riker, who went like 54 and zero, okay, as a boxer against women. And then she all of a sudden decided to step in the ring with a man, right? And average trained man fighter, not, you know, a average Joe off the street like me and you, but an actual trained male fighter who's really not that good, okay? Um, but she decided to step in the ring with him because, you know, she was kind of feeling herself, right? And we're going to talk about uh, what happened when she decided to do that. It should be no surprise <laughs> to anybody with uh, basic common sense and knowledge of how biology works. Um, and, and this comes as, you know, we have the whole Leah Thomas thing, the uh, transgender woman, aka biological man, that is competing with biological women in swimming at the college level at UPenn. And, uh, unsurprisingly um Leah is dominating the sport and that has caused a whole lot of controversy to the point where you have female um teammates that have spoken out anonymously about this saying that they don't like it saying that they're being forced to be okay with it even though they're not you have a uh, USA swimming official that has resigned in protest because of um Leah Thomas dominating competition uh basically saying that hey I don't like seeing biological men dominate women in sports okay um, so again, there's a whole lot of controversy surrounding this. And I think it's good to go over a very well-made video like this that kind of shows the differences between men and women in sports. Um, so that, you know, hopefully our society can get back to a place of common sense. I actually don't think it should be legal, right? For, uh, men and women to compete against each other in, uh, combat sports or sports that require, uh, athletic ability. I actually really don't think it should be legal. I think it's, it's borderline, uh, domestic violence in my opinion. Okay, that's just my opinion. But hey, I'm neither here nor there on that. So if they want to do it, they can do it. And the result will always basically be the same. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get in this video. And I will say, um, please check out the original version of this video. I'm going to post a link in the description because it's very well made. And I want to make sure I give the original uh, creator of this video credit for them creating this video. So the link will be in the description if y'all want to check that out. Let's get into it. Can the best female fighter defeat male fighters? No, <laughs> right? I mean, they answer that question is no, <laughs> right? Uh, maybe, I mean, she might better defeat, if we're talking about the average Joe on the street, maybe, right? Maybe. But if we're talking about a, a decently trained male fighter, even if he's not good, even if he's one of the worst male fighters, no, <laughs> right? It's, it's just not going to happen, okay? I don't care how good she is, in my opinion. Yeah, she's the, the female boxer who is really the best in the world. Nobody wanted to fight Lucia Riker. So she, I mean, she was sparring with guys. I mean, she was probably the best female boxer ever. And nobody knows who the hell she is. Women fighting men is a very popular topic in combat sports. Years ago, media reported that Ronda Rousey could beat Floyd Mayweather in a fight. And we all know how BS that was, right? Because Ronda Rousey went on to get her ass whooped by women okay and the women that she uh got beat by uh look uh very very much more manlier than she does okay ronda rousey got so tired of getting her butt whooped that she had to go uh to the wwe <laughs> to do fake fighting right because she just wasn't cut out for real fighting anymore okay this is the same person they said could possibly maybe beat floyd mayweather in a fight like come on man come on the media hypes this stuff up to try to make it seem like women are equal to men when it comes to this and it's just it's just not true right it's just objectively not true okay it, it's a part of the whole cuckoo for coco puff la la world that a lot of the woke revolutionaries in our society uh want us to live in that we just simply don't live in okay and part of it is the whole gender thing but also another portion of it is well men and women are just exactly equal on for all things right they're equal okay again it's it's nonsense Today, there are still a lot of speculations that Amanda Nunes could beat male champions. Nobody speculate that except woke revolutionaries, right? Nobody speculate that. She can't. She can't beat a male champion. Especially, she can't even beat the average dude, okay? It ain't gonna happen. Well, this is literally the best female fighter of all time. And she actually fought a man. Nicknamed the Lady Tyson, Lucia Riker is a woman who conquered the world of kickboxing and boxing. During her reign across two sports, the media dubbed her as the most dangerous woman in the world. 
She hit so hard that in a sports science show, her punches exceeded the force of a male fighter by 200 pounds. All right, so, I mean, there's a whole lot that goes into force, right? I mean, really it's technique more than anything. But uh, as you can see here, uh, she's coming at this with a hook, okay? Sports science show, her this punches guy exceeded the force. It's coming more straight. Okay, so I don't know if this is an apples to oranges comparison here, to be quite honest with you. Because a straight punch is not going to be as forceful as a hook. ...of a male fighter by 200 pounds. A seasoned trainer yeah, who it's, got it's hit not by her punch, and another right? Olympic male boxer said he couldn't tell the difference. When Hyper tested hard. against Houston Alexander, a light heavyweight MMA fighter, Lucia hit just as hard as him. Yes, this makes her one of the hardest hitting women of all time. Widely regarded as the greatest female boxer of all time, Lucia was undefeated in all her 54 fights with women. In kickboxing, she had 37 fights and 4 world titles. Most of her fights were won by knockout. In boxing, she had 17 fights with 2 world titles. 14 of her fights were by knockout. But what happened when she fought against a man? Fight fans, welcome back to another episode of Striking Breakdowns. In this episode, we explore how the best female fighter was defeated by a male fighter. This special event took place when Lucia Riker already had four world titles in kickboxing. Training with the legendary Vosgym from the Netherlands, her corner included the great Ernesto Hust. By the time of this fight, Lucia ran out of kickboxing opponents and her trainer suggested it could be a good idea to fight a man. Again, that trainer should be fired, right? The trainer that suggested that it was a good idea for her to fight a man should be fired, okay? Because he does not have enough common sense to be a trainer, right? He's not looking out for her best interest, okay? He's not looking out for her best interest. Her opponent was some child. And here's the thing. Why are you not satisfied with what she's accomplished, right? She She's been nicknamed the lady tyson she's won all types of championships awards she's accomplished everything you should be satisfied with that you don't need to fight a man we don't need to see it we don't want to see it we already know what the outcome is going to be right but <laughs> she wanted to do it anyways Ty jd an amateur fighter in australia he had a total of 14 fights and was a local amateur champion the first round was closely contested but some child landed the clean of power shots he even knocked Lucia's head back with a big cross. And see, once you start landing a couple of them power shots, right, straight to the face, because she was getting eight, okay? She was getting eight. She started seeing them stars. <laughs> I'm telling you, she started to rethink this whole gender equality thing, okay? She probably started to rethink, oh, shit, I had signed up for this. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Again, this guy, he had way less experience. He's an amateur. She's fought way more fights than this guy has. Okay, and her technique probably is better than this dude's technique. Okay, probably better. So, you know, outside of just the biological difference, she's probably better than he is just technically as a fighter. Okay, and from an experience standpoint. However, that's still not enough to override basic biology. It's just not enough. The tie also swept Lucia multiple times. Once with a teep, another with a roundhouse, and then once inside the clinch. Somchai didn't look like he had better technique, but he was clearly faster and more powerful. Uh, Luc because of biology. And that's what I literally I was just saying. It, he probably doesn't have better technique because he doesn't have his, his enough experience, right? And he's also average, okay? He ain't, he ain't all that great, okay? She is. She's one of the greatest for a woman, okay? But again, when it comes to speed, strength, power, bone density, muscle mass... All these things matter, okay? And you can't override that with technique. You, you just can't. You can't. At least not when it comes to men versus women. Now, if it's a man versus a man, okay, then yeah, technique matters, okay? If they are close enough in strength, speed, endurance, you know, athleticism, all that good stuff. If they're close enough, yes, technique matters, okay? And I mean, even if they're not that close as a man versus a man, I think technique can actually help you out a lot. But you have to be in a certain range, okay? It has to be close. When it comes to a man versus a woman, it, it, it's not even close. So technique isn't going to matter all that much. It's only going to go so far. Sia was also able to sweep Somchai once. And for most of the round, she was the one pressing forward with aggression. 
Overall, Somchai covered the long range much more effectively than Lucia. This was important for him to be a sniper, allowing him to land clean shots without a response. It's obvious here that it wasn't the technique that made the difference. It was the power and speed. Bruh. That. In the second round, it was clear that Lucia wanted to overwhelm her opponent and tried to steamroll him. She was able to put Somchai onto the ropes and start swinging. After landing several big punches, she had her opponent cornered. But that's when he started swinging back, landing a left and right hook with an uppercut that sealed the knockout. Mm. 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 The fight was immediately called off and the trainer came in to cradle Lucia. Mm. It was a courageous showing by the best female. Yeah, courageous, <laughs> right? I mean, hey, I mean, listen, yeah. It, it, she does get credit for getting in the ring, okay? I mean, she got in the ring with a man, and I mean, the obvious outcome happened, but she, she still did it. However, it's not one of those things I'm sitting here, you know, and, and I'm happy to see. I'm not happy to see this. I hate seeing this. I hate seeing uh, women get beat by men. I don't want to see it, right? I don't want to see it, and reasonable people shouldn't want to see it. Okay, she tried hard, but ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, power and strength and speed overwhelmed her. Biological attributes overwhelmed her. It's just, it is what it is. It is what it is. Doesn't mean she's not great, but she's the greatest when it comes to a woman. It's the same thing that John uh, McEnroe was saying about Serena Williams that he got a whole lot of backlash for uh, a few years ago, right? John McEnroe, one of the greatest tennis champions ever, okay? Men's tennis. He said, listen, Serena, compared to men, she's like maybe 700 best in the world. And everybody was like, oh my God, you can't say that. You can't say that 700 men are better than Serena. He's like, yeah, I mean, 700 some men are better than Serena. Okay? They just are. Again, that's not a knock against her. That's just a acknowledgement of biology and how the world works. And that's all it is. A fighter of all time. After this sanctioned exhibition fight, Lucia would go on to be trained by Freddie Roach and dominate the world of boxing. At one point, she was a superstar who received a million dollar fight offer. When she retired, Lucia became a motivational speaker and a coach, at one point coaching Ronda Rousey for striking. As for her opponent Somchai, not much is known about him. Contrary to what many people speculate, Somchai was not Thailand trained. He moved from Thailand to Australia and New Zealand at a young age and learned his Muay Thai locally. What we do know is that he wasn't part of the Thailand fight circuit and would not fare well against top Muay Thai fighters. What are your thoughts about man versus woman in a sports competition? Do you think they should sanction matches between the two genders? Drop a comment below to share your thoughts. <laughs> no, no, it's ridiculous. And people that are pushing for it, in my opinion, support domestic abuse, right? As you can see, that dude that she competed against <laughs> went on to basically be a nobody, right? An absolute nobody. She went on to, you know, get million dollar endorsements and fights and train Ronda Rousey. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But she should not have stepped into the ring with a man, period. She shouldn't have done it. She shouldn't have done it, period, okay? So, again, you know, this comes as, you know, we have these people on the left who, who keep trying to uh, push this idea that somehow men and women are equal on every front, right? It's okay for trans uh, women, aka biological men, to compete with women in sports. That's cool, right? There's no unfair advantages there, right? You're a transphobe if you're against it when it's like, no, no, no. Um, men just have biological advantages over women when it comes to certain aspects of biology. It is what it is. How many times do we have to see time and time and time again a, a man dominating a woman, a biological man dominating women for people to <laughs> come to grips with reality? Come to grips with reality, okay? It is what it is. God created us this way for a reason, right? I don't think he got this wrong. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.